Ready? Three, two, one. Perfect! You did it! You remembered all ten! Well done! That was brilliant, Sam! loads of different kinds of memory games, but may not think about how they store different types of ideas in different ways. In this activity, you and your kids can investigate the different ways we store memories. Okay, Sam, we are going to play a memory game. I have got 10 objects, and I'm going to give you 30 seconds just looking to try and remember them. A memory globe! When we need to remember something quickly, we use our short-term memory. This struggles to hold more than about nine pieces of information at a time. So these ten objects should be quite a challenge for Sam. So, shall I count? Yeah. Okay, you try and tell me. What was under it? Uh, An anemone. A globe. A globe. What's next? You have to tell me. A Batman. A Batman. A uh, camera. There's no camera. <laughs> I think you've got six. Yeah. Okay, I think we got six. What do you think we can do that would help you remember them better? Writing. You think writing them down would help yeah. you? That's a really good that. idea. That's really good signing out your letters as well, actually, Sam. Good job. Okay, so you've got an octopus. Ask if they can think of any ways to help remember more. That might be writing a list or picking up the objects before they're hidden, but let them try whatever they think would work. We look at them this time. Pick them up. Pick them all up. Okay, what? let's try that. Yeah, let's pick them up and say them. That's a great idea. So watch. Batman. Batman. Doll. Doll. Globe. Globe. Uh. One last look. <gasps> and they're gone. Batman. Batman. Doll. Doll. Watch. Watch. I can't remember anymore. That's fine. So we got seven when you got to touch them. That was really good. Write down the results as you go. This is a great way to get used to observing the results of an experiment and thinking like a scientist. We are going to try a new thing to help you remember all ten of these. Because so far, the most you've remembered is seven. So we're going to try to make a story. So I need you to pick two objects to start out. Which two do you want to start with? Okay, what can an octopus do with a watch? Wear it. He can wear a watch? Yeah. But that would be really silly. He's got one watch on three of his legs. But that's how octopuses wear watches. That's how octopuses wear watches? Yeah. Okay, do you think we can remember that then? That can be our first pair. An octopus is wearing a really brightly coloured Superman watch and it's on three of his legs. By connecting the ideas of the object in pairs, Sam will push them into his long-term memory. It's important to make the pairs overlap, so the second object of the first pair becomes the first object in the next part of the story. If the octopus goes into the water, who might he meet there? An anemone! An anemone! So that's our next pair. We had an octopus wearing a watch, the octopus jumped into the sea, and he's met his friend, an anemone. The stranger the connections and the sillier the kids make them, the more unique those connections will be, helping lead their memory from one object to the next. This chain of ideas should help the kids remember all ten items. Your story started with a watch. Can you tell me what happened next? The octopus wear the watch. There's your octopus. And what happens he went next? into the water. Yeah. And he met an anemone. And he squirted and all over him. And when the anemone went for a summer. And he played with his rubber ducky. Amazing. I get the wax. That's such good telling your story. I love it. The 
the very first one we did was when you just looked, wasn't it? How many did you get then? Can you remember? Six. Six. So you got six when we looked. You got seven when you wrote them. In the end, how well the kids recall the objects isn't really the important thing. It's about getting them thinking about how they remember things and coming up with their own ideas. At the end of the activity, keep asking lots of questions about what helped, why they think that might be, and maybe even what that tells them about how their brain works. To find out more about this activity and the science behind it, download the information sheet from the RI website. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and tell us how you got on.